What an exciting development. After much anticipation, the first components of Starship V3 have finally made their debut, bringing with them a host of significant upgrades aimed at advancing SpaceX's future missions. But what exactly are these upgrades? How will the transition to this new version impact the future roadmap of Starship? And what steps should SpaceX take to ensure a smooth evolution into this next phase? Let's explore all of that and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The transition to Starship V2 earlier this year marked a significant milestone in the evolution of the Starship program, featuring a larger structure, redesigned flaps, an upgraded heat shield, and various internal improvements. This version was expected to push the vehicle's performance to the next level. However, despite all the anticipation, the effectiveness of those V2 upgrades has yet to be fully demonstrated in flight. The space community continues to wait eagerly for concrete results. But that might not be the only major development for Starship in 2025. In fact, another pivotal leap forward, something many anticipated would take years, is now on the horizon. The long-rumored V3 version is no longer a distant concept. Excitement intensified last month when Elon Musk confirmed the progress with a direct statement, we are honing in on the V3 Starship design. Just days after Musk's announcement, an image emerged showing a partial view of the V3 liquid oxygen header tank inside Star Factory. While the photo didn't reveal the full structure, the new design cues hinted at several upgrades, including what appeared to be increased capacity and revised structural details. Now, in a more recent image, we finally have a complete view of the V3 liquid oxygen header tank. Before diving into the technical details, it's important to confirm why we know this tank belongs to a V3 prototype. Attached to the tank is a label identifying it as S-39, corresponding to the ship intended for the 13th Starship flight. But the real confirmation comes from a small, hard-to-spot piece of text next to the note, V3 liquid oxygen cone. That label leaves no doubt. S-39 will be the first true V3 prototype. Visually, the tank's increased size is evident, which suggests greater propellant capacity, an essential improvement for extended missions, or more demanding payloads. The tank's fuel line outlet is still angled, maintaining compatibility with Starship's side-mounted internal routing. This brings us to the next big question. When will we actually see S-39 begin to take shape? At the time of this upload, stacking of S-36 appears to be complete, while work on the S-37 is underway inside Mega Bay 2. Meanwhile, S-38, with its nose cone attached and forward flaps and heat shield installed, is still waiting for the next step, likely stacking once Bay Space becomes available. Mega Bay 2 is currently at full capacity, with S-35 also inside, receiving its Raptor engines. Given this timeline, S-35 will likely be the first to leave Mega Bay 2 for testing and final pre-launch preparations. Once it exits, and once S-38's nose cone installation is completed, S-38 will be brought in for stacking. That shift will then open up the necessary space for S-39 to enter the assembly sequence. Based on the current pace of operations, this could happen as soon as early May. In the meantime, the nose cone for S-39, housing the liquid oxygen header tank, has already been spotted inside Star Factory. This installation will take place alongside the mounting of the forward flaps and heat shield. Once that's completed, S-39 will move into Mega Bay 2 for final stacking. On average, the stacking process for a single Starship takes between 4 to 6 weeks, which places the likely reveal of a fully assembled V3 prototype around early June. And that's not all. The liquid oxygen header tank for S-40, the next prototype, has also been spotted. Although the current image only partially reveals the tank, much like the initial view we had of S-39's last month, it clearly follows the same new design. That means the transition to V3 is well underway, and SpaceX is already working on multiple vehicles in the new configuration. This next generation version is shaping up to be one of the most significant advancements in the Starship program to date. Are you excited for what's coming? If so, comment Welcome V3 to show your support for this historic evolution. 
Let's take a moment to spotlight another key development in the path towards Starship V3, the S-39 nose cone, which is quickly becoming one of the most notable components in this transition. At present, the S-39 nose cone has only completed its initial stage of production. It has yet to receive its heat shield tiles, and the forward flaps and associated mounting hardware have not been installed. While that may seem like an incomplete picture, this unfinished state offers a rare opportunity to appreciate the underlying structure of the Starship nose cone, arguably one of the most technically demanding components of the entire vehicle. As many are aware, the nose cone is among the most complex parts of Starship due to its intricate taped, tapered geometry. Constructing it requires a precise ratio of stainless steel plates that must be expertly formed, aligned, and joined to maintain aerodynamic symmetry and structural integrity. Despite the challenges, SpaceX continues to refine this process, and with each new prototype, we can clearly see improvements in craftsmanship. One of the most impressive aspects visible on the S-39 nose cone is the high-quality weld work. The steel segments are seamlessly fused with no signs of excess material, scorching, or poorly aligned joints. This marks a dramatic improvement from earlier Starship prototypes, which were assembled from variously shaped plates with visible weld seams and a more rugged, unfinished look. At that time, imperfections in construction not only affected the vehicle's aesthetics, but could also pose performance and safety risks. Today, the transformation is remarkable. SpaceX's transition to more advanced welding methods, particularly the implementation of laser welding, has elevated their manufacturing quality significantly. This automated technique enables cleaner, more precise joints, while reducing human error and material deformation. The result is what we now see with the S-39, a sleek, uniform, and modern appearance that matches its forward-thinking purpose. Interestingly, the S-39 nose cone may also reveal another subtle but meaningful evolution. While the image does not provide a full view, it appears that the nose cone may be constructed from long vertical steel panels rather than the traditional horizontal ring segments. If confirmed, this would represent a significant advancement in fabrication and assembly, potentially offering a stronger, more unified structure with fewer stress points and improved aerodynamics. However, this observation remains speculative until more of the component is publicly visible. In any case, it's clear that SpaceX is pushing ahead with major refinements in preparation for the first flight of the V-3 Starship. These upgrades are more than just aesthetic. They reflect a deepening mastery of aerospace engineering and point toward a new era for reusable spacecraft. The future is approaching fast. Stay tuned and stay excited. The upcoming release of Starship V3 is poised to create a significant ripple effect, not only within SpaceX, but across the entire aerospace industry. Considering that V2 was only introduced earlier this year, many anticipated it would have more time to demonstrate its capabilities. However, if Ship 39, the first V3 prototype, is rolled out as expected, we could see it take flight as early as the end of this year. That would mark the end of the V2 era after barely a year in operation, covering just six prototypes from S-33 through S-38. This transition appears to be a direct response to the current performance of V2. While it introduced notable upgrades such as improved flaps, a more robust heat shield, and design refinements, it has yet to deliver consistent, proven results. In light of that, SpaceX seems to be pushing for a more transformative step forward with V3, offering deeper, more fundamental improvements to Starship's design and operational potential. Moreover, the early adoption of V3 could reshape several of SpaceX's near- and long-term goals. According to NASA officials, V3 is expected to play a critical role in enabling orbital refueling, an essential capability for future deep space missions, which could begin testing later this year. Beyond that, V3 may serve as the baseline model for the Starship human landing system in NASA's Artemis program. This could explain why the HLS variant has not yet debuted. SpaceX may be waiting for the V3 platform to be finalized before adapting it for lunar operations. Looking even further ahead, the ships destined for Mars in the next few years will most likely be derived from the V3 architecture. 
With enhanced reliability, scalability, and performance, V3 is shaping up to be the true backbone of SpaceX's interplanetary ambitions. Naturally, in order to operate Starship V3, SpaceX must undergo significant preparations. As discussed earlier, changes to the liquid oxygen header tank and nose cone are only the beginning. The remainder of the vehicle will also require substantial modifications. In terms of scale, V3 will be a dramatic leap forward, reaching a total height of 150 meters with 80.2 meters allocated to Super Heavy and 69.8 meters to the ship. These size increases are not just for show. They translate directly into performance. Starship V3 will be capable of carrying 2,300 tons of propellant, while Super Heavy will store approximately 4,050 tons. This major capacity upgrade will allow V3 to deliver more than 200 tons to orbit. As Musk recently revealed, the system will be capable of launching up to 100 tons of Starlink satellites per flight while maintaining full reusability, a key objective for SpaceX's long-term vision. Additionally, V3 will build upon recent V2 innovations, including an improved heat shield, updated flaps on the ship, and enhanced hot staging and grid fin systems on Super Heavy. Perhaps most notably, the V3 version will debut Raptor 3 engines, promising a new level of thrust, reliability, and operational efficiency. To support these changes, SpaceX must begin upgrading the rest of the ship immediately following the nose cones integration. However, the Super Heavy booster remains behind in development, still in its V1 configuration. The first V2 booster is expected to be Booster 18, which will likely be paired with Ship 38. SpaceX may continue using V2-level boosters with early V3 ships before ultimately transitioning to a dedicated booster V3. Given this phased approach, we may not see a complete V3 stack until mid-2026. Beyond the vehicle itself, numerous ground and support systems must also evolve. The Star Factory production facility will need to ramp up manufacturing speed and efficiency to meet the increased demand. The stacking infrastructure must be upgraded particularly in height to accommodate the taller V3 stack. This is already in motion with the dismantling of High Bay to make way for the much larger Gigabay. In parallel, SpaceX will need to reinforce its test and launch infrastructure. The orbital launch mount, flame trench, and water deluge systems will require significant upgrades to withstand the increased thrust and heat of V3 launches. Most critically, the launch tower and chopsticks will need to be extended and reinforced to support the much larger and heavier rocket. There's no doubt an enormous task lies ahead for the SpaceX team, but the payoff promises to be historic. We are on the cusp of a new era in aerospace, led by the most powerful, fully reusable rocket system ever created. Are you ready for what's next? This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.